Hi everyone, this is Dr. Kim, America's Holistic Foot Doctor. In this video, you meet my patient who had many sports injuries in the past to his nails causing deformed, deep ingrown nails. This is one of the few cases in which I do a permanent metrosectomy right away since it will not grow back normally at any time soon. Okay, we have Armando here. Armando, how are you doing? Alright. Okay, so now you can see this nail is really, really deep here. So now we're going to do a permanent procedure. This is one of the few times that I would do permanent procedure right away because if I keep pulling the nail out, then it's going to grow back the same way because the nail has been deformed um, through uh, trauma. Tell me, Armando, how this got, uh, you got hurt this uh, the toe? Uh, actually, just playing sports, uh, got my toenail stepped on. Uh huh by a cleat and uh -huh. it uh, severely pushed it down so you got black and blue right yes and then correct. the nail fell off too yes and then oh. it fell off but it didn't grow back correctly and it just looked like it overlapped into the skin do you feel this uh, something or do you just feel the pressure feel the pressure yeah but nothing sharp right not really because i put extra stuff on it a lot of macho guys uh they faint on me so i make i made sure that armando Mr. Macho guy is not going to faint on me. Thank so, you, doctor. Yeah, I know I put enough in there, so I was kind of surprised that you were, you, you were kind of feeling like something, but nothing, right? Not really. Just pressure. You're going to feel Just the pressure. pressure. Yeah, you're going to feel the pressure, but not, nothing sharp, right? No. You can pressure. see how, yeah, you can see how deep this is. So in a case like this, I, we do, I do matrixectomy immediately because there's no point keep pulling the nail out. Um, but most of the other times when the nails look pretty normal, then there's a good chance of that growing back normally. So I don't do the mastectomy right away, okay? Which is, takes a lot more time to recover, uh, a lot more pain afterwards. So we try not to do this uh, on just everybody just right away. So I'm just pulling this nail out right now. You okay, Armando? Yeah, I just feel pressure. Yeah. So you do a lot of, um, what, sports still? Do you do? Uh, yeah, actually, uh, some basketball, but most of the sport is uh, kids. Oh, the kids, so huh? Yeah, I have twins, yeah, so. So what are they doing these days? Uh, are they right doing any sports yet? I went into school, and uh, I signed them up to uh, try to play some basketball. Oh, basketball? Yeah. Yeah, look how big this one is. Look, look at this one, Armando. That's how much was in there, yeah? So, took that out. Some skin that we need to remove from there. So now we're gonna go in here and I'm gonna burn this area right here, especially in the back over here. So I'm just cleaning it out nicely so that. So what I also do is I put a little bit of Vaseline around this area so that when we do the phenol, it doesn't overflow and damage the uh, skin. So that's what I put in there. Also put a little bit of sterilization around this area, especially around the nails and the inside so that when we burn this, we don't get any infection from this area as well. So a little bit of sterilization that happens in this area. Okay, so now we're ready to do the phenol. So now I'm gonna put a little dip on it here and then it's about 30 seconds. You can tell me like 30 seconds. So I'm, I'm in there burning the root right now and about 30 seconds we do it three times to make sure that uh, we get all the, the roots. So my job is to not only get this area, but the deeper underneath the nail, because that's where the root is. So we make sure that that area is completely burned. So that was 30 seconds. So, and then I use the cotton tip to clean it out a little bit, <coughs> the area. So keep cleaning. You okay, Armando? Yeah, I'm doing great. Okay. So you got twins, huh? Yeah. I wanted twins, but I couldn't get one. <laughs> I know. So Everyone I always tells me that, and I'm like, so oh, man, you guys can hang out for a while. 
The boy, boys or girls? Two girls. So two girls. Wow. Yeah. Double the trouble, huh? Yeah, double the trouble. Wow. They're but, but they're they're different though, right? They're really different. Yeah, yeah. They're 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 like uh, fraternal, but they look somewhat identical. Oh, is that right? So oh. Sometimes they fool me, you know. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> Even work, you? I work at nine in the morning. Sometimes they'll wake me up and be like, "Hey, Dad, good morning." I'm like, "Who are you?" Yeah. <laughs> uh, you know, but I've been yeah. through some challenges. You know. It's, it's, it's a good thing, you know, it's a blessing. Yeah, yeah. And then, uh, you know, seeing it from a woman's perspective view, it's a beautiful thing. Yeah. Just, you know, just to even have a kid. So it's, it's not exactly. easy. Being but a parent, it's not easy, you know. No. It's but a, lot it, of, a lot of sacrifice and work. Yeah, yeah. You know, it's too how much free time you used to have. Oh, yeah. You know. You got none. Now you just, it's mm. their time, it's them, you know. Yeah. Wow. Sacrifice. That's crazy. It's me again. Hope you've been enjoying this video so far. If you have, leave the word permanent removal in the comments below and don't forget to hit that subscribe button. But it's not, it's not easy to... I had them right before COVID. Oh, is that right? So you oh. can imagine when I was working, like I told you, with the Navy, the military, uh -huh. I was working in places like in Norfolk, Virginia, and I went to like the Hamptons and That's other sweet. cities and states. Uh -huh. But at that time when COVID hit, Hit, we couldn't find you know diapers wipes oh food. really oh remember, wow remember we couldn't find toilet paper for a while right because <laughs> it was all we took in so, so what's uh, doing? Be in another state coming home with wipes and toilet paper all happy because i'm like yes i'm coming home with really? in, in your luggages when you put them in their luggages but yeah i put them in my luggage in my backpack oh wow yeah, i wouldn't even go with clothes i'd be coming back with like packs of wipes and stuff for my kids because um, mm. They were even taking the wipes, member from the from the stores because there was no uh, toilet paper. That's crazy, huh? Yeah. Wow. So you had it really rough for a while there. Yeah, the COVID, and then uh, trying to go into the areas to just even the hardest one was the formula. Oh yeah, yeah. They, they had a formula the shortage, formula. shortage for a while yeah. too. Wow. Oh, yeah. So you yeah, went through all of that. Yeah. That's crazy. I'd be hunting through stores just trying to find it. Wow. And then you know sometimes I only take you take one, right? Yeah. One for customer, but like, yeah, I have twins, man. Look at this. I'm gonna burn through this. Oh, place. so they they had a certain quota, right? Yeah, you can't you can't yeah, do anymore. Some, some people would luckily they'd be like, oh, let me take her. Some people are like, I'm sorry, you gotta get back in line and buy it again. Wow. So I'm I'm giving a little extra medicine afterwards. So this is uh, cortisone with a little and uh, long acting anesthesia to make sure that he doesn't feel any pain because the most pain comes about four to six hours after it most intensely so we're trying to bypass that time and so i don't usually have to give any pain medicine after a procedure like this one um and i also put it right here to flush out some of these uh, other areas out as well so you, you won't feel any pain in that area just decrease the inflammation and help with the pain. So this is what we do here. And then on this area as well. All right, so I'm gonna wrap them up real good. So a bit of antibiotics and then we wrap it up. So he, he he's to keep this area really. Bless you. Bless you. And to keep this area really dry the whole time. And I'll you just see them in about a about a week or so. Okay, you don't feel anything, right? Yeah. Okay. So it may be bleeding, so I'm putting a lot of okay. bandage on this one for now. Right. So, and then like you said, just uh, five to twenty-four hours, and I can finally take a shower or wake it a little wet, right? Uh, yes, but yes. Maybe just try not to for now, right? Is that yeah. Key? So starting tomorrow, yes. Okay. Just keep it like this. Don't don't touch anything, and then mm -hmm. you're gonna start soaking it uh, tomorrow, mm -hmm. and then you put antibiotics, and then starting tomorrow you just uh, bandaid. Okay. okay. But when you're home, leave it open because it wants to drain. So if you keep it uh, covered up too much, then it won't drain and it, it, it's gonna get soupy and it's not gonna be that clean. So we want you to keep it open and when you're home. Okay. But if you have to go somewhere and just cover it up. 
We have to take it easy next few days. Yeah, huh? no, no, I'm yeah. Gonna just, yeah, race. yeah. Okay. 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 All right. Very good. Thank you. Armando, thank you for allowing us to film you today. No, thank you for uh, doing the procedure and uh, taking care of me. Okay. I also didn't really feel much, but thank you. Thank you for watching my video. As you can see in this video, sometimes the nails are just too deep to keep removing. Therefore, a permanent removal is necessary immediately. Until then, be educated, get empowered, encourage others today.